Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Saltworks. So without wasting any time, let's start. So I am in assembly mode, so I will make all my components and parts here, okay? So go to the insert components, click on new part and select the front plane. So first thing that I am basically going to create is, is the base of it. So go here, click on center rectangle and give the dimension as per your requirement. Uh, just to know that some people ask me, hey, where you got the dimension of the project? Just to know that I don't have any dimension of it. I just saw the mechanism on, you know, internet and I'm like, hey, I can make it. And that's all. I don't have any specific dimension while making. I just making live in front of you. No cut or something. Uh, let's make this one to a DMM. Ten and let's extrude it. Uh, before I do extrusion, uh, no, that's okay. It's fine. So, select this face. Click on sketch. Uh, now what I'm going to do is draw a center line first. Escape and after that. We'll go here, draw the line like this, and give the dimensions as per requirement for two two point five. And this is 8 and click on mirror entities uh, select the entities that you want to mirror so select all these sketches and mirror about this line click ok after that go to the features click on extrude cut select these two and click on through all click ok so this is how to click now so let's see the mechanism so this is the mechanism that i'm making so let's see uh, basically this uh, don't go to this channel it basically stole the video so this video is originally from thang youtube channel so he's the original creator of it from where that basically the mechanism is i'm just uh, teaching you how to make it i don't uh, claim that this mechanism is mine okay so like this click on sketch and Say 50, 25. Uh, say hold? No. Okay, I can just extrude. So I can just extrude it. So let's see. Go here. Extrude. Uh, click on blind. And let's enter the value of 200 ml. Click OK. Uh, looks fine to me. And after that, I will create a hole here. Click on here, click on surface. Create a hole as per your requirement. Let's say 10 mm, 50 mm. Escape. Select these two points. Click on make it vertical, extrude cut and click on through all, ok. So we have made up to this point, now we need something like this and this. So let's see how close this. Uh, first exit this assembly component mode, click on here, click on new part, select the front plane again, press ctrl plus 8 for normal into the view. First, I will create a shaft here uh, or something like this. Give the dimension as per requirement. 9.5 I think is enough. <coughs> and let's just transform here to here is 50. And go to the features, extrude. 
uh, let's say it is 30 ml 20 is fine uh, 15 is fine click ok after that i need something you know look like this so what i can do select this face click on sketch click on slot slot is best uh, good for this thing so six and the distance from here to here is 30 make it zero and extrude I basically want to move into a positive action so click on here and I don't want a high extrusion so 5mm is fine click ok so let's see so I have to create these two parts three parts okay and so let's see how to pause this uh, before I do that I need to create a code here so select this face click on sketch draw a hole here and just in case uh, those who those who are new to my channel uh, I have created a, a another channel called engineer now so if you want to learn about engineering formula derivation with interactivity th uh, 2d or 3d animation check out my other channel uh, link in description okay so I see that is something component mode now uh, so if I can move it I can move it okay so go to the mates select this and this click on here this uh, distance 0.5 and don't want to give much distance click ok and right click on this component make sure it is fixed so that this cup part doesn't move I only want to uh, rotate this part okay now I have met to this point now I need to create these two parts so let's see how I approach this so first like this face press ctrl plus 8 so what I can do basically uh, before I do something Uh, let's see the mechanism let's cut the voice so I don't get audio strike uh, ok so let's rotate it downwards here and I need to create a, another hole here ok so select this part click on add components uh, select this face click on sketch draw a circle here let's say it is 10 mm again and the distance from here to here is 100 mm press escape select these two points by pressing control make it vertical go to the features extrude cut click on through all click ok uh, and exit that assembly component mode now I need to make another part so let's see how to oppose them so click on here click on new parts like the front plane press ctrl plus 8 so what I can do click on here and make sure that no external reference is checked on else you will face problems ok so click on here draw this, draw this uh, I am also making first time this mechanism or part uh, just live ok it's, it's not like I am hiding something so even I don't know how uh, I am approaching this <laughs> just saw a video on youtube and start working on it 5 and what should be the distance let's say it is 150mm fine I guess uh, let's say 3mm exit that is some component mode ok select this part 
uh, you see these arrows these arrows will show if you have a latest solver 2022 version or some previous version i guess i recently stored 2022 uh, it's okay software 2022 like this like this click okay now i uh, as you can see it's uh, it's like this art and and this click ok i need to make something so that uh, this thing will just you know will move something like this ok so let's work on that after that we will move further so click on here click on new part front plane press ctrl plus 8 let's make it 8 mm uh, don't worry even it's uh, away from it we will use mates that onwards so it will fix uh, fix it itself uh, select this face click on sketch let's draw a shape x this 20 20 10 10 20 click ok and let's select like this face click on sketch uh, let's make a hole here uh, don't worry even if it's not correct we will do it later onwards as per our requirement exit that is under component mode Select this part, move it. Uh, sorry. Uh, the biggest shoe that I found with this software is quite heavy uh, for my PC. So I'm trying my best. Select this edge and select this. Make sure it's parallel. Or coincide is fine, I guess. Coincide is also fine. So let's try to do the movement of it. Yep. Uh, I see no issues here. So now let's. Uh, next thing is that is I have to make this lag. So let's see how I can allow how to approach this. So. Let's make it straight after I select this face. Press Ctrl plus 8. So, this is the maximum distance that it can go. So, I have to make something that can go up to here. So, let's see. Click on here. Click on new parts like the front plane. Uh, draw a line like this. Or, what we can do? Click on center line. Uh, Now draw like this. Escape. Select this line and click on offset entities. Click on by direction. Click on cap ends. Now let's cap and be lines. Click OK. After that, go here. Draw a circle here. Uh, draw the distance as per requirement. Five mm is fine. <coughs> and go to the features extrude 5 mm click ok uh, select this face click on sketch uh, let's draw the center lines here first escape i want uh, i think that's enough so go here draw the draw this bad shape like this uh, give the dimension as per requirement 70 mm and 70 mm and features 
5 is ok I guess and here we go so now we have left is this part so let's see how to approach this one so before I do something to make it uh, select this part move it forward go to the mates and select this part select this face and this face click ok uh, do you notice that this part is quite weak for our uh, assembly so I am going to make it small so what I can do is select this part click on edit components first just reduce the size of extrude cut so that this will not pro, uh, do any kind of issues now let's give the dimensions 1.5 1 1.5 10 1.5 exit it after that this is a component so instead of 20 let's make it 15 click on rebuild uh, I think this is ok for meanwhile and exit that assembly component mode now I have to make something to support this one so let's see how to approach this problem so click on here click on new part select the this time the right plane ok not the front plane uh, press ctrl plus 8 so first I have to make something in this slot so what I can do go to the sketch uh, just you know that no external reference is checked on in my case so make sure it is also checked in your case as you will face a lot of issues if you try to make this one in real life you will provide something called tolerance but it is just a tutorial for teaching purposes so i am not currently giving it my main aim is just to teach you how to make it okay that's all let's say 10 mm click ok select this face click on sketch uh, 20 ok Let's make it 22 or 25. Make it 25, and this length is 25 divided by 2. Okay, go to the features extrude 2 mm enter and select the top face. extrude up to 2 click ok exit there is any component mode so let's try it how does it look like uh, just to note that this is not final I am uh, going to do some, do some changes uh, so select this face select this face click ok select this face and this face make it parallel click ok uh, select this face Okay, I'm setting the wrong one. 
means so it is saying that if I add this mid uh, I will face some issues so select this part go here and look for smith select this one right click and click on suppress so right now I think I can uh, made them go inside click ok add this mid and broker the semester as a let's see uh, with what much I have broken so right click delete Let's right click and delete the parallel mid as well. Ah, so it's fine to me. Ah, select this face. Select this face. Click OK. Select this face and this face. Make it parallel. Click OK. Let's try to see if it's working or not. So if I try to move it, okay, but okay, why it is not moving? So I guess I have some issues here. So this one not issue. This one not issue. So right click on and click on here delete. Let's go here, select this face and this face. Make them coincide. Click OK. Add this mate to pro color mates. I don't worry about it. Okay, so right click and delete this parallel mate. Let's see what kind of issues are here. As I told you earlier that I'm making this part first time, so yeah, I can make mistakes. Delete. Okay, now the sound is no more overdefined. And you can see it is. Let's see where the shoes here. So basically what I wanted, I want that it just move in this direction, nothing else. So let's see how can I approach this. So if I select this component and see the mate, so uh, it is here. So first right click on it and delete. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, one thing that I come into my mind is select this edge and select this edge click ok coincide ok that looks good to me uh, after that mate select this face and this face make it parallel click ok now uh, that's also a good thing select this face and this face uh, coincide is fine so if I try to move it you can see it's uh, looking fine to me again some people will say hey man it's not looking that good don't worry about it I will just now modify this part so click on here edit components uh, uh, before I do first exit the SM component mode let's measure what is length so go to the value it measure it's 20 mm so i have to create okay i, I got it so select this uh, edit components select this and right click edit sketch so let's make it 20 mm 
okay and uh, let's make it 10 mm zero uh, 5 mm zero okay and just for the sake of simplicity what we can do is just mirror this uh, I'm not going to you know do all that hard work make sure that you are if you are a, if you want to be engineer make sure that you are lazy guy because a person who do the hard work in small time with quality is called a real engineer i am not that level but still trying my best close uh, right click okay it says this meet is not there so don't worry about it so right click uh, first exit there is some component mode okay this is still small i, I have to increase this so what you can do is select this edit components uh, feature instead of 5 okay actually I did the sketch of it not the feature So instead of 5, let's make it 20. Uh, this is red to me. And click OK. Exit that is in component mode. And exit this feature. Now I got error here. So right click here. There is simply because uh, after I make this part again, it doesn't know where is the face. So it is asking, hey, where is the face? If I tell them, hey, here's the face, it's just fine. And I did, and click OK. So if I try to rotate this, you can see I'm getting the animation. Uh, now to animate it, what we can do is, uh, so to animate it, go to Solvox add-in, go to the Solvox motion. Go to the motion study, click on motor, zoom in, click on here, let's add distance, let's say 360 degree. Just in case if you want to learn about SOLIDWORKS animation and motion analysis, I have created a special course. You can check out the course link on Udemy, link in description. And if I click on play, you can see the animation. Uh, just in case if you want to create better animation, go here, click on motion analysis, click on settings, increase the FPS to 30 for better results, click OK and if I click on calculate again, uh, you can see this is how it looks like. Uh, okay, uh, just to know that this, you can add your pin here. The main purpose just I'm showing is just to teach you how to make it. Let's add some one more interesting thing. Go here. Uh, displacement force is trace path. Asking for a point. So select this point. And click OK. And click on calculate. If you want it more better, just increase the frame per second for example if i created 60 uh, the quality of this result will be much better okay so click on 60 and click on calculate okay i got a save reminder and uh, i will see that one okay let's so in that way you can make this part so i hope you learned something from this video it's just converting a linear motion into translate t 
okay so i hope you learned something from this mode uh tutorial if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask again thanks for watching and have a great day and make sure you check out my link in the description for uh, my free and paid courses uh you will learn a lot of things namaste